Hi YouTube watchers and subscribers, this is Viv from Slider over here. This is my second video where I talk about text customization in Android. Now in the last video, I have discussed certain attributes that enable you to make better looking text inside your apps. In this video, I'm going to extend that discussion talking about some more attributes. So first step, how can you customize text? Here, there are some attributes. There's a table that shows the different attributes over here. The XML value for that, the Java value and the type of values it supports. So here, if you have font style, your XML, you have an attribute like Android text style that controls that. In Java, you have this method set type face that controls the same thing. And the type of values it supports, there are three of them, bold, italic, and both of them combined at the same time. Then you have your font type, which is supported in XML using this Android typeface attribute. In Java, you have the set typeface method does the same thing. Now remember, this typeface parameter that you guys can see over here inside the method is nothing but a way to create fonts from your library or your SD card or your assets folder or something like that. We'll talk about this in detail in the next video where I'll show you guys how to use a custom font inside your app. Now these are the four fonts that your Android system supports. There's novel, sans, serif and mono space. For example, if you, now if you want to use something like Arial or Verdana or Lucida console or something like that, you will have to load the TTF file, which is your font file inside your assets folder and then load it using a method. Now we'll talk about how to load a custom font inside your app in the next video probably. But for now, let's just stick to the default fonts that we have. And then we talk about shadow. Now shadow has four attributes. One of them is shadow color, which is supported by Android shadow color in XML. And there is a single method in Java that supports all four shadow attributes. Now you have radius, you have the offset of along X axis, the offset along Y axis and the color, all of them supported in a single method. And then you can take any color value for shadow color. Then you have shadow DX, which is nothing but the distance in X axis from the original text, exactly how far the shadow should be along the x-axis right. So you have Android shadow dx in XML that controls the value and it's nothing but a floating point value. Same way you have shadow dy which is the distance along the y-axis from where your shadow should start relative to your text. Now we're going to talk about this attribute in detail when I show you an example but for now just remember these are two attributes control where your shadow appears right. And then you have a shadow radius which is nothing but a small radius probably makes the shadow sharp and a higher radius starts blurring the shadow out. So first Let's talk about Android text style. So here you have bold or italic. As you guys can notice over here, there is a pipe character in between bold and italic that makes the text both bold and italic. And that's how this looks on the screen, right? Same way you have Android typeface, which can take a value like monospace. And then if you see the text, it will look perfectly in monospace just the way you want it. Now, if you want a custom font, we are going to see in the next video how to load a custom font inside our app. But for now, you can stick with the four values that we have. And last but not the least, we have the shadow. We can have four attributes, the shadow color. I have given red over here, the shadow radius, any value five, DX10 and DY5. Now take a look at what happens. Here, as you guys can see, there's hello from Vs, my text, and there's a shadow which is red in color, just the way I've specified over here. The shadow radius five, you increase this radius, this shadow starts getting more and more blurry. You can go ahead and experiment this in Android Studio or Android Developer Tools or whatever Android development tool you guys are using over here. And then the shadow DX is nothing but the distance of this shadow starting from the original text in terms of pixels and that's what the shadow dx is all about shadow dy is nothing but the vertical or the distance along the y axis from the start of the original text to the start of the shadow that's what your shadow dy controls so these are the basic attributes that you guys can use to customize your text in a better way i hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day